If you've been printing for a little while, I'm almost certain you'll have come across a filament tangle. And that's the topic of today's video, how to prevent them. Let's get started. So we've all been there. You go to check your print and you see the nozzle just floating in midair, no material coming out and a gap left between the printed part and the nozzle. Disaster. One of the potential causes is of course a filament tangle. When the filament itself gets locked on another layer and the extruder is no longer able to pull it through. Most of the time in normal operation, filaments will sit on the holder and just pull through, through, through nicely at a constant resistance for the extruder. So it has no problem pulling it through. Every now and then a tangle can happen. And when you're new to printing, the first thing you think of is, damn, this must be a faulty product. I must have a faulty roll of filament here. There's nothing I could have done to prevent this tangle. But that's where you're wrong. It's very easy to prevent tangles and notice them before you even start. But before I get into that, we we'll first talk about the number one cause for a tangle being formed in the start, and that is improper storage. Now, most good rolls of filament will have a number of holes in the side, and they are there to allow you to store your filament properly. For example, in our 3D Tomorrow filament rolls, we have six different holes where you can store your filament, three on each side. And what that means, when you take your filament out of the printer, hold it in good tension at all times, and then use the holes to properly secure the filament so it stays in tension at all times in storage. You see, even if I'm shaking it about like this, I drop it on the floor or whatever, it's fine. It all stays nicely compacted together. If, however, I wasn't to do that and I was to just leave it in storage left like so, with the filament end floating around, any movement, shaking, etc., like that, is going to loosen the filament and if you're unlucky will enable the end of the filament to get stuck under another piece of the filament in the roll. Then when you come to pull the filament out it might continue to pull away to start with but there is a chance that in that movement in that moving about it may have got caught under a neighboring strand of filament. Then if you continue to pull like so, which is what happens in the extruder, eventually it gets to the point where the tension becomes so much that the extruder is unable to keep pulling the filament and you've effectively got a knot formed, as you can see here. The good thing is, rather than just pulling filamently endless like this to check if you might have a tangle, you can normally identify them quite easily by trying to pull filament off the side. It should come away cleanly in one strand. If it doesn't, or there's resistance in the filament, like there is here, where I introduced a tangle, you need to try and pull those sections off the side. You don't want to keep unraveling, 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 because that just furthers the knot. You need to try and actually loosen it a little bit and pull these bits off the side. See, this is our tangle here, these two joins. So I can get these strands off the edge. a bit of loosening and take these strands off the edge like so there we go we're now back to a single strand that can come off cleanly like that at this point you can then rewind your filament holding tension between the filament that's going back on and the spool itself. And you'll see when you're doing this how it's not possible for a tangle to form during normal filament manufacture, because this is exactly how they're made. Tension is held between the filament and the spool, as that's exactly what pulls the filament to the correct diameter in the first place. If you'd accidentally introduced any kinks in the filament during that removal process, then you're better off to break the filament there and leave it with a clean, smooth, continuous strand. Otherwise, you could introduce other problems in the print. Push the filament strand back through one of the eyelet holes so that when you store it, it's all in proper tension. And you're good to go. That is pretty much the only way that an actual filament tangle can happen. It is also worth mentioning though, that if you have a particularly bad spool setup, in other words, one that allows your spool to roll indefinitely and you see it almost unraveling during the print, then 
you might want to think about ways to improve that. You can design uh, filament holders, spool holders, that actually have a rewind function in them, and that helps to keep the tension in the filament during the print itself. However, if you can't be bothered to do that, you might just decide to switch to a cardboard spool of filament. That is one of the benefits of a cardboard spool, the extra bit of friction they provide in your spool holder setup. Initially, when you hear that, you might think it's a bad thing, but actually having a little bit of friction stops the filament just unraveling excessively. You see, you push this, and it does come to a, a stop pretty quickly, which is what you want. You just want the filament you've pulled and not the whole rest of the spool to come sliding along. With a plastic spool, you see they want to roll a lot quicker. They want to roll a lot further, and that means your filament is more likely to become slightly unraveled. Another misconception is the look of the filament itself, is the look of the filament itself. You could have pretty good winding, perfect winding, or pretty poor winding, and actually it's very, very damn near impossible for a filament tangle to be caused in the manufacture, other than if the operator didn't straight away put the filament through the storage holes. So to recap, the number one cause and prevention of a filament tangle is just keeping it nicely locked into the holes during storage, so that even when it's shaken, it can't move. And when you need to fix a filament tangle, don't just continue to unravel, unravel, unravel. Actually try to pull that filament off the side. And if you ever get a new spool of filament and you see that somehow the filament has become broken in transport and has lost its connection to the edge, then just check that it doesn't have a filament tangle. It's far easier to check at the start of a print. A few seconds will tell you whether your spool's got a tangle or not rather than coming down three hours later to discover that your print has failed. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified of future videos. Do you have any tips and tricks that you use when preventing filament tangles? Do you have any particularly horrific stories of long prints that you have uh, witnessed fail? Tell me about them. Problem shared is a problem halved, as they say.